Hey everyone, welcome back to Curious Every Day, where we explore the wonders and mysteries of space. Today, we're diving into a topic that's becoming increasingly important as we continue our adventures beyond. How long does it stay up there and why should we care? Let's find out. Space junk, also known as orbital debris, consists of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from disintegration, erosion, and collisions. But just how long does this stuff stay in orbit? The answer depends on several factors, including the altitude of the debris. Let's break it down by altitude. In low Earth orbit, or LEO, which ranges from about 100 to 1,200 miles above Earth, debris can stay in orbit for a few years to several decades. The higher the altitude, the longer it takes for the debris to re-enter the atmosphere and burn up. Now, let's move up to medium Earth orbit, or MEO, which ranges from about 1,200 to 22,000 miles above Earth. Here, debris can stay in orbit for hundreds to thousands of years because there's very little atmospheric drag to slow it down. This is also where we find the GPS satellites, which we rely on every day. And then there's geostationary orbit, or GEO, located about 22,000 miles above the equator. In this region, objects remain in a fixed position relative to the Earth's surface, making it ideal for communication and weather satellites. However, any debris here can potentially stay in orbit for thousands, even millions of years unless actively removed. Why is this a problem? Well, space junk poses a significant risk to operational satellites and space missions. Collisions with debris can damage or destroy spacecraft, creating even more debris in a dangerous chain reaction known as the Kessler Syndrome. The Kessler Syndrome describes a scenario where the density of objects in low Earth orbit is high enough that collisions between objects could cause a cascade effect, each collision generating more debris, increasing the likelihood of further collisions. Fortunately, space agencies and companies are working on solutions to mitigate this issue. From satellite graveyard orbits, these efforts aim to reduce the amount of space junk and ensure a sustainable future for space exploration. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that it's not just stars and planets out there. There's also a lot of human-made debris that we need to manage. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating space content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay cute, stay curious, curious every day.